Hey everybody, so for this month's free play, um, I had an idea that I wanted you to test out. Um, so if you've done like pastel rubbings, like or like you're done, you know, taking a crayon and rubbed it over um, a, you know, put it over a leaf and done a rubbing of it, or if you've done it, maybe you've done it at a museum where it's like you can do a rubbing of a fossil footprint or something like you've probably done that but what i'd love for you to experiment with as your free play for the month is to pick you know two to three different materials and then i want you to practice doing rubbings with two or three different like mediums so it's like maybe do oil pastel and charcoal and crayons that's what i'm going to work with i'm going to have an oil pastel a crayon and a charcoal and then i'm going to experiment with how i can layer those different media on the same piece so i'm going to show you a little bit more of what i'm talking about in a moment but i wanted to present that to you before we get started so if you even want to like press pause on this and go get your paper uh, and get you know two or three different types of materials and then get something that you want to play with doing a rubbing of. Um, I'm going to have basil as my foundation of what I'm doing a rubbing of. So press pause, go pick it out, and I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so like I mentioned, these are my materials. I'm working with just like a piece of um, craft paper. And then I've got some basil leaves from the basil plant that we have in our kitchen. And then I have three different materials, well, technically four, but these are both crayons. So what I'm going to be working on today is I've got this um, compressed charcoal. So if you watched the charcoal video, you probably saw me talk a little bit about this. So this is the compressed charcoal that's really strong. So let me show you just an example here. We've got the, if I press lightly on the corner, you know, you can get this sort of shape here. Um, but I also have this way of being able to like rub the side here like this right um i can also um do a like rub down an edge and get a finer um like less sharp of a color right so there's a lot of different ways that we can use this charcoal so the reason that i'm using other colors than just this charcoal is um if you're just using black, it can get kind of boring if you're doing rubbing. So it's nice to have some examples of other colors. I'm using the primary colors here. Um, this is the blue, we have a red, and then we have a yellow. The yellow here is um, actually an oil pastel. I know it's gotten a little beat up, but it is um, an oil pastel. So what I'm gonna experiment with here is I'm going to take one of these sheets of paper. Uh, I'm gonna lay out a little design for my basil leaves. So. Just making a little bit of a mildly interesting composition. They're not, not actually that big, so they probably will be not super interesting, but you can see I'm creating a little bit of a triangle. So if we talk, we'll talk more about composition in more videos, but you can see I have one leaf pointing down here where the direction of the point grabs you to this leaf. Then this leaf slowly points to this leaf, right? And then this one points us back up to the top. So if you're working, trying to create an interesting composition, working with triangles will always be fun. So when you create this triangle shape, it keeps your eye moving, right? And, but it doesn't look at, like you don't see the triangle necessarily immediately as soon as you start looking. But that's just a note about composition. And of course, we'll talk about more of that, more about that another day. So what I have is I have my piece of paper over top. I'm gonna do some rubbings with both of my, my pastel here. And then I'm also gonna work with my other colors and then I'll show you what I come up with. So when I worked with just the yellow pastel and did a rubbing, you can see I got my three shapes here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over this with a different color for each leaf. So I'm gonna do like the maybe the red crayon over this one and maybe the blue crayon over this one and maybe the black charcoal over this one. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I did do some experiments here with some different colors over the same rubbing, but what I was noticing is like the, um, with the crayon, because it was working over the pastel, which was an experiment, that's fine. Um, it lost some of the tracing. And so I tried with each of the different ones. I wasn't super happy with the way this turned out, which is okay. That's part of the joy of playing, right? This is our free play time. If it doesn't work, that's okay. You just work on something else. So what I did is I flipped the page over 
When I redid my yellow pastel as the foundation, so you see I did that again. Let me see, I think it was actually this way. I worked this way. Yeah, there we go. So what it is, you can see that again, I got the, the rubbing of the past or of the, the leaf shape here. So that came back through with the yellow. And then I just did an outline on this one, right? So I did an outline with each of these colors. Uh, and that gave me a different sense of um, like the depth, right? So it looks like they're all different um, distances away, which is always a fun thing to experiment with. So one thing that I may do, and I'll, I'll film it if I do it, um, is to practice a little bit with like doing little accents on these veins of the leaf using that same color that I had um, for each of the outlines. So let me experiment with that and see if I like it or not. And if I don't like it, that's okay. We have more paper. Okay. So I did work with that. And what I like, uh, about this is even though it's not that different from just doing the outlines, you can see the way that the material creates texture a little bit better. So if we look down here, you see the big fat red crayon leaves a lot of spaces where the paper shows through, but the charcoal is like a really distinct sharp line. So that's a fun way to see the difference between the materials. And then over here, you'll see this is the blue crayon. Um, it doesn't leave as many spaces in between like the marks as this does, um, but it also has like these little flakes that happen. So I could even practice rubbing them in a bit. And that could give me a fun texture. So another thing that I could use is I can use my thumb to, you know, blend a little bit. We can practice with that, like blending the charcoal in with the pastel. That's one thing we can do. We can experiment here, see what happens when we start to blur it together. Um, and then of course, if you wanted, you could take this drawing uh, and then put it again over another set of leaves and we could do another round of the rubbings um, or you could pick something else. You know, we could do flowers, we could do, you know, rocks. You could experiment with doing a lot of different layers on the same piece or of course, you know, we have more paper and so we can experiment with doing some new drawings. So give this a try. Let me know what you think. Send me some pictures of what you work on and I look forward to seeing what you're up to.